Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a technique where you can limit the display of the table or the matrix visual up until the point where you have a date selected in the slicer. Now, I'd be able to explain a lot better once I show you the demo on my computer. No further ado, let's begin. All right, I'm in Power BI, and that's where I have made a quick pivot table. Let me just take you through that. So I have year and the month, which have been taken from my calendar table, the two columns. And against that, I have written a total sales measure. Very, very simple, nothing but the sum of a particular column. Now, against the year and the month, which are the two columns of the calendar table, those two columns have also been used on a slicer and I can maybe slice any particular month. Now, what I'd like to do is, let's just say that if I slice for the month of March, my entire pivot table should not get filtered to the month of March, but it should only restrict itself until the month of March. That means everything before March, I should be able to see inside of the pivot table and right after March, April onwards, the pivot table should actually stop or the table should stop displaying any results after that. So I want this uh, slicer to act like a stop until a particular date slicer rather than select a particular date slicer. How do we do that particular thing? The problem is that once you select a particular value in the slicer, it becomes a filter context, slices the table, and you only see the value in that particular filter context. To solve this particular problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using something like a disconnected table, uh, again, a date disconnected table, and then use that disconnected table inside of my measure to run that calculation. Let's just start. So I'm going to go over uh, to the data field right here. Uh, in the table tools, I am just going to make a new table right here. Let's just also copy the entire code that I have for the calendar table or my date table. I'm going to use the same code. I can also reference it, but for now, let me just use the same code. Control C on the code, uh, table tools. I want to make a new table. Uh, let's just call this as a disconnected table. So disconnected calendar. And I'm just going to paste that particular code that I just copied. And in that particular code, let me just delete that stuff, press enter. And now the same table has been created, which is nothing but a calendar table. The only difference is that I am not going to link this particular table to any measure. All right, so you can see that uh, this is the disconnected table, not really linked. Let's just go over to the visual, cancel this particular slicer that I have created on the regular date table. And let's just make a slicer on the disconnected date table that we have created. So let's just remove this. Let's not remove it. Let's just kind of get it back and uh, let's just replace the year and the month from the disconnected table. So take the year, put it out right here, and take the month and put it out right here. Now, obviously the month is not sorted. Let's just go also sort that. I just absolutely forgot that. So I'm gonna pick up my month right here and I am going to sort it in the order of the index that I have. And the months should appear sorted. Okay, so far so good. Now, what I wanna do is if I actually go ahead and maybe pick up, let's say the month of March or maybe any particular month in 2002, let's just say that I pick up uh, the month of April, the pivot table should restrict itself to the month of April and not go any further. Let's just write a quick measure. So I'm just gonna go over to the sales table uh, and make a new measure. And let's just call this measure as the stop date. Um, or I'm gonna say, hey, uh, why don't you do the max of the disconnected table? Uh, date column. Now what this is actually going to do is if you have selected in the disconnected table the date of or the month of April, this is actually going to give you what is the last day of this particular uh, you know, filter context. If I commit to the formula, press enter. If I just drag that to my visual right here, let's just take a look at what result do we get. We get 30th of April 2002. We get uh, October 2002, so on and so forth. Now, what I want to do is I would like to pick up this particular date and limit my calculation inside of the measure that I have created. Let's just now go ahead and modify our total sales calculation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say something like, calculate and I'm going to say, hey, I'd like to calculate my total sales, but the total sales is going to be calculated up until the top date. So I'm going to say, hey, filter my calendar table and inside of the calendar table, I'd like to take the look at the date should be uh, less than or equal to the stop date, right? Close that, close that, commit to the formula, press enter. Let's just see, uh, do we have this until October 2020? two or not. Yes, we have it. If I reduce this and maybe only keep it until March, now we see the table only up until March. And let's just only do it for maybe 2003. And let's just any particular month in that. Let's just say June. It actually is until June as well. 
All right, that was my short little trick on creating a disconnected calendar or a date table and picking up a date from there and use that as a limiting date to only display the data inside of the table or the matrix up until a certain point. If you have any questions around this, please feel free to put down a comment and I'll be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout about my DAX and my Power Query courses in case you are starting out and you need help right from scratch to build up your fundamentals on Power Query or on DAX and then get to a level where you start solving more sophisticated, more challenging problems of your own data, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be immensely beneficial. Thanks so much for watching this and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.